what's up world, you know what time it is. You know, yesterday morning I woke up and received a text from my mother love informing me of Pat Patterson's passing and I could have easily put out a tweet but there just isn't enough space and uh, I wanted to be able to honor Pat the way I wanted to honor him through this video. And I've got many funny Pat Patterson stories and I wanted to be able to share them with you. You know, we lost another legend pretty much, you know, a very, very significant one at that. You know, we all know Pat Patterson was the first intercontinental champion. He was the creator of the Royal Rumble and just a brilliant, brilliant mind for the business. So I wanted to be able to share some stories with you. One in particular was the first week of May in 2009 when I was at a WWE tryout in Tampa and I was doing a promo in the ring. The scouts were watching me and I could hear from a distance Dusty and Pat Patterson in the control room. And after I was done with my promo, I could hear Pat Patterson say, he's got a good look, he's got a good look. And I ultimately got signed out of that trial. And then fast forward to when I came out publicly to the world as the first openly gay WWE superstar to come out while still signed to the company. I lived in Miami Beach, Pat lived in Fort Lauderdale, and he would always ask me if I visited the bars in Miami Beach. And at one time I did, uh, not anymore, but it's unfortunate we never got to hang out, Pat Patterson and I, outside of wrestling at the bars because at the time with WWE, life happens and there just wasn't any time. And one of my all-time favorite stories I love sharing with people is, I forget which WrestleMania after party it was, but Mark Henry's family was at the table and my family was at the table. And I remember Mark doesn't like to be touched or pet or any of that stuff. And I remember Pat Patterson sneaking up behind Mark and kissing him on his cheek. And Mark turned around and he hauled off and he said, Pat, you're lucky it's you. Those are the funny stories that I remember. Those are the memories that I always cherish. And professional wrestling is in a better place now because of Pat. And it was an honor to vibe with him so many times in my career. Pat touched a lot of lives and Rest in peace to one of the greatest minds in the business. You will truly be missed, Pat, and I love you very much.